Hello children, welcome to program I Love Science. Have you noticed that at the bottom of all the newspaper pages, there are some colored dots? See, uh, for example, at this paper, you, you see these colored dots. And at some other newspaper, you can see uh, some colored dots like this. Right? They are different shapes uh, or in some other newspaper, they can be like this, like circles, but they are always same colors. And these colors are these colors that I have here. They are cyan, light blue, magenta, like pink and yellow. Uh, and also uh, there is black because you need black ink in the newspaper. Uh, also, you must have noticed that in the color printer cartridge that you have at home, uh, you always have these three colors cyan, magenta and yellow, right? And black is a separate card. So what is so special about these colors that all the printers, whether it is printing the newspaper or printing uh, at your home using your home printer, you always need these colors. Let's do a little experiment with these plastic sheets and then we will show you how these colors mix. So here uh, we have uh, our colors, uh, cyan, magenta and yellow. As I told you that these are used in all the printers. Now see, if I mix this cyan color with uh, magenta, then what do you get? You get a uh, blue or a purple shade. Actually, uh, my pink or magenta is not exactly the magenta that you have in the ink. So it's giving a little purplish, but otherwise in printers, you can get a dark blue color out of this. If I mix magenta with yellow, then you get red color like this. If I mix uh, yellow with blue, then I get green color like this. So this is how combining these three colors, I got three more colors. Now, if I combine them in different quantities, for example, less of cyan and more of magenta, then it can be, you know, uh, different shades of purple or something. If I combine I know this magenta and yellow in different quantities, then it, I can get different shades of red and orange and such. So that is how in, in all the printers, by combining these three colors, they can get thousands of colors which are used for printing photographs and such. And of course, there is a separate uh, black color whenever you need to print dark black color or something. So that is how these three colors are very important in doing color printing uh, of any type. So you can also do this experiment at home. Uh, you can take your watercolors, take these three uh, colors and then see if you can mix them in different quantities and from these three colors, you should be able to generate so many other colors. Now, why do are they printed at the bottom of the newspaper? Because at the, in the newspapers, all these three colors are being used. They are printed at the bottom just to see that they are aligned properly so that the pictures which are printed in the newspaper, they are correct. Now, one more thing. In one of my last videos, this one, I told you that uh, three primary colors, red, green and blue are used uh, to create all the colors on TV screen. But you see, in case of printing, those three primary are not used, but we are using these three colors. Now, the reason is that when you combine lights of different colors, then you get brighter colors. So that is why on TV screen, you need those three primary colors. But when you combine inks of different colors, then the resultant uh, a color is a darker color. So you need these lighter colors and then they go. So that is why if you look at the color mixing concept, you will get this and this as two different uh, color mixing uh, combinations. So now you know about color mixing, have fun.